we had the new Relog, Relog, what is it? I don't even know what it's called. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and in today's video, if you can't tell by the title, we are going to be playing with a brand new brand. Yeah, new brand. I'm excited. In today's video, we're going to be playing with a new brand. This is the Re Love by Revolution brand. I'm excited. We have some new goodies to play with. This is like a new sister brand of Revolution. It seems to be extremely affordable. And yeah, we've got some goodies to play with today and I'm excited. So let's jump straight on into it. Okay, first things first guys, they have so many things on the website. I did pick up a foundation. However, the foundation leaked everywhere. Like the whole bottle smashed. It went over everything. So if you see any bits today and it's got like a bit of foundation on it, I have tried to clean everything as best as I could. But yeah, um, so just ignore it. But yeah, I did get the foundation, but unfortunately it smashed and there wasn't even a drop left. It was just over everything. So yeah, but already Revolution have kindly messaged me and they said that um, they are going to send me out another one. So yeah, they're, can I just say the customer service is excellent. Like I messaged them and they already messaged me back like within about 15 minutes of me messaging them saying that they were gonna replace it so amazing amazing so yeah we have some goodies to play with today but not the foundation so yeah we still have some amazing things to try so yeah let's go let's talk about some of the products first and then we'll get into testing them out okay so yeah i picked up the first thing i picked up was the pore vanish primer they do have other primers on the website as well so they have um like a matte primer they have like a hydrating primer i love a pore filling primer so i picked up this one this retails for four pounds so we're gonna be testing this out i'm excited still got like foundation all over it oh. and then obviously i did pick up a foundation but we don't have that um so the next thing i picked up i picked up a super matte setting powder so i'm going to try this with another revolution um like concealer and foundation to see how it works with them so we've got this to try i'm excited to play with this this retails for for three pounds three pounds what what okay and then picked up a couple of different like um face palettes so yeah, I picked up this little contour palette. It's got contour on it, but then it's got like a blush highlighter and a bronzer on the inside. The highlighter looks quite dark, but yeah. This is like the lightest one. This is in the shade, I got mine in the shade Sugar. These retail for three pound. Three pound, what, what? That is insane, three pounds, what, okay. Okay. And then I also picked up a duo blush and highlighter palette. I picked mine up in the shade Cute. I tried to pick like the lightest kind of shades. Um, so these retail also retail for £3. Um, so I'm excited to try this out. Like look at them shades. Again there's obviously more shades in them but I just picked up the one that would work best for my little skin tone. I then picked up another highlighter. This is like the super highlighter. They have this in quite a few shades. This is like a champagne-y kind of shade. Uh, I put mine up in the shade champagne. This is three pounds. The prices are insane, guys. Yeah. I then picked up two eyeshadow palettes. The eyeshadow palettes, I can't lie, like they weren't my favourite. I feel like there was like I love a colourful palette, you guys know that, like, if you've been here before, but I feel like some of them were just a bit like, meh, there was quite a few, like, neutral ones, and I'm not, like, I'm not really, a lot, I like my neutrals, but I'm not really a neutral kind of gal, um, so they have quite a few shades of these, I picked the shades Dreamer, which has obviously got a lot of, like, colourful tones in it, it's got, like, a black, it's got, like, a creamy shade, and then them shades, and then I also picked up the shade Express, which is more like a greeny kind of palette. 
um so yeah there's, they have like loads of other colorful palettes on the website but i feel like there's in these palettes there's more shimmers than there are mattes so it's going to be kind of difficult to work with um so these two kind of like stood out to me the most there were some other really pretty ones but i just wanted to get these ones for today these retail for three pound as well like three pounds and in each one you get six shades like that's it's insane so we're gonna be trying these out as well today and then i also picked up a mascara um yeah i picked up this mascara this is the power lash volume mascara um so this retails for three pounds i'm excited to try this out i do love a good mascara like i actually do i don't know what the claims of this mascara are i don't know whether um it's meant to give your lashes mega volume um yeah yeah i think it's just meant to give you like a volume i don't know if it's meant to give you like much lengthening but yeah we're gonna try this out as well and then i also did pick up a brow product i picked up the power brow which looks like this it's like this on the inside so it's got like a little spoolie on one end and then it's got the tip at this end so yes i'm gonna try this out i've forgotten let me just see how much this is this cost two pound fifty this is £2.50. They do also have another brow pencil on there as well, which is like a, a thinner tip with a spoolie as well. So it's kind of similar to this, but without the angled brow, it's just with the thin tip. I don't know why, I, I think I thought there was only this one, which is why I picked up this one. If not, I would have picked up the other one, but yeah, there is that one as well. Um, And the last thing I picked up was a gloss. This is in the shade Sugar. It's like a pale nude kind of shade baby gloss it is tiny this retails for three pounds as well so yeah we're gonna test out all these products they did have some other things on the website as well like they had a beauty sponge they had a like a brow palette with like powders in it they have what else do they have they have loads of primers they have quite a few lip balms but i didn't i don't need any lip balms i've already got loads um what else did they have they had like some pressed powders like pressed face powders i didn't need didn't really need that i usually use a like a loose powder they had some eyeliners they had some coal liners they also have setting sprays coming soon as well but yeah obviously i couldn't pick them up but i just thought i'd pick up the things that i felt like i really wanted to try so yes okay so we're gonna get into looking at the eyeshadow palettes first because obviously i do I do my eyes first for my base so let me open these little bad boys up we'll have a look on the inside okay so we have the first one this is a dreamer by the way guys these are actually pressed pigment palettes um so a couple of them do have like pressed pigments in them in this one the whole palette has got a pressed pigment like every single one of these is pressed pigment and in the green one there is a couple um not all of them just this one and this one which are pressed pigments so yeah i don't mind either way it's three pound though i think it's three pound but yeah so this is the first part we have the shade dreamer we have the palette dreamer which looks like this and i'm gonna swatch a couple of the shades like we might as well we're here let's see how hmm. this is a full matte palette by the way guys just so you know oh they actually swatch pretty well the yellow wasn't that great but it could perform better on the lid they actually look really nice i don't know what to use i'm like what do i use and then we also have express which is the greeny palette i wish i picked up another one as well but i just didn't feel like i needed it all oh them shades are really pretty let me swatch that shade is gorgeous I feel like I'm just swatching all the shimmers to be fair they actually swatch quite nicely of course they're gonna perform different on the eye cuz yeah that shade that shade is gorgeous gorgeous I kind of want to do like a greeny yellow look I don't really know. Do we do 
a greenie light, a yellow look? I first of all, I'm kind of feeling, I'm kind of feeling that. So what I'm going to do is I'm quickly just going to prime my lids, zoom you guys in, and then we are going to try out the palette. So yeah, I'll be right back. Okay, so jumping into the palettes, um, I did, I did kind of want to use, like when I ordered this, I kind of wanted to use the pink, the orange and the yellow like all together and do like a sunset kind of eye, however I did that yesterday in a different video, <laughs> so I don't really want to do that again. So I think we're going to do like a greeny yellow kind of look, um, so use like the green out of here then use the yellow to like blend it out kind of thing, so I think we're going to do that. So I'm going to take this green matte shade here. The first shade we're just gonna pack this through the crease I like these palettes like, I like the look of them and the idea of them but I feel like I feel like the majority of them are like companion palettes so you'd need another palette to kind of go with them which is fine um, other than like some of the more neutral palettes like, I feel like they're neutral palettes will be you know, like fine to kind of use by themselves but like the colourful ones like I feel like you're going to need another palette to go with them which is fine but yeah okay I mean right off the bat that packs on really well it actually it's actually all right can we talk about the prices of these like items as well like insane this green is gorgeous I wasn't expecting I thought it wasn't gonna be that great but then again it's revolution revolution creates some amazing things and I love them I feel like they're just one of the best brands on the market super pigmented look how well it packed on no fallout like maybe the tiniest amount of fallout but yeah look how pigmented that is super pigmented super pigmented i'm then gonna go into the yellow shade i don't know how well this is gonna blend out hopefully it'll blend out well if not i can go into the creamy shade which is handy to have and um, so yeah, i'm gonna take the yellow shade here this one there is a big difference between the yellow and the green in terms of like the green's quite dark and the yellow is quite light and bright so i'm hoping they kind of do blend out i have to say this yellow is pretty damn pigmented yellows can sometimes be a little bit tricky to kind of make so it's nice that it's actually super pigmented okay so there's still got quite a bit of a harsh line between the green and the yellow i'm just going to go back into the green hoping that if i just kind of like build it up And blend it out slightly it will start to kind of just they'll start to just like blend together then just going back into the yellow I'm going to take a creamy this creamy shade here Took a, took a tiny bit of this and I'm just going to blend around the edges just to make sure that it looks nice and blended. Actually looking a bit better. I'm just going to quickly go off camera. I'm going to cut my crease and then we're going to be back and we'll do a lid shade. I'm feeling to take this gold shade here like that will be so beautiful on the lid so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and just do that and then we'll be back okay so i'm back literally just got my crease and um, blended it out a bit more it actually looks a lot better now that i blended it out a bit more so yeah i'm gonna take this gold shade here 
looks gorgeous let me try it with a brush first just to see what it's like we'll pack this on the lid oh okay it's like an antique gold and it's really pretty it's really pretty There's not like a light in a corner shade that I can use. I mean, there's this one, but it might be a bit too dark for me. We might give it a go. It doesn't swatch great. However, it might apply differently. Who knows? Sometimes, sometimes things can. They can apply better with a brush. So we might give it a go. Just a little bit on the inner corner. I'm going to take a little bit of this shade. This one here. I'm just gonna apply it to my inner corner just to see it might be a little bit dark for me but we'll we'll give it a go oh it's actually not too bad it's actually quite nice it definitely applies better with a brush than swatching with a finger that shade's gorgeous yes like this we've gone green i'm obsessed i like it okay so like i said we do have a mascara to try this is a power the power mascara power lash volume mascara oh the wand's quite big on it it's quite a big wand let's just try it on shall we yeah i haven't got anything on my lashes at the minute just I like some of Makeup Revolution's mascaras. I love their 5D Lash Mascara. It's probably one of my faves. Okay, so that's like with one coat on just this eye. Honestly, it's all right. Let me apply another coat and we'll just see what happens i'm glad it's not coming off super clumpy i feel like some can like you can apply it and straight away it is like clump heaven not clump heaven but you know like clumpy that's with two coats on just this eye actually quite nice Let me do a third coat, let's just see what happens. Here's where it could get. Yeah, there we go. It's just started to get a bit clumpy now on the third coat, but yeah, it's even on the third coat though, like it doesn't look super clumpy. To be honest, it's actually quite nice it's gone quite clumpy on this side i quite like this it definitely hasn't curled my lashes it's definitely lengthened them and it's definitely given them somewhat volume my lashes are quite straight anyway so i'm not expecting them to curl them but it's definitely given them some length and definitely given them somewhat volume so yeah i actually quite like this i'm gonna have to keep trying it out and just seeing how i feel but so far so good so I'm quickly just going to go ahead and pop my lashes on and then we are going to obviously try out the primer. I've obviously got the powder to try and I've got some face bits and some brow stuff. So yeah, I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back literally just to quickly apply to my lashes. It's still drying. Okay, so we've got the pore vanish primer to try. Is how I'm excited. Um, yeah, they have quite a few different ones of these. So I'm guessing this is just going to help to blur the pores i'm guessing that's what i'm hoping anyway and we're just gonna i'm just gonna i don't know it's got like a weird little pump on it i guess i'm just gonna pump some into my oh that, that went a bit too far <laughs> i'm just gonna put some on my hand i think i took a bit too much but yeah we'll i kind of do my forehead anyway let me just rub it into my fingers a little bit it smells nice I don't know what it smells of though. It reminds me of like fake tan, the smell. I don't really know why. Um, I don't know if it's meant to have a smell. Skin, it's definitely blurred my pores. Like on my nose. It's 
on a good job. I only usually put like pore filling primers on my nose, a little bit on my chin and then a little bit on my forehead to help kind of blur my fine lines. I don't think this is meant for that but you know. Okay so I'm quickly again just gonna go off camera. I'm just gonna apply my foundation. I'm gonna use the Revolution Conceal and Glow Foundation and I'm just gonna use the Conceal and Define Concealer for my base and then we're gonna come back and we're gonna try the setting powder so I'll be right back so I'm back literally just applied some of my liquid products like I did my liquid blush got my concealer on got my like contour on I used all revolution products so I used the conceal and glow foundation and like I said before I used the conceal and define concealers to con to conceal and to also um bronze and then I used the super dewy liquid blush in the shade fake the flush just there yeah um so now we're going to go into the matte, matte powder this is the HD super matte powder it's just a setting powder Um, it has a little sifter which you can lift up which I will be doing but yeah you there is a sifter there in case you wanted to use it Um, I'm just going to go straight into the powder it's like a it's like a universal powder i think it's meant to be like translucent um it helps to remove shine and mattify with um yeah it helps to remove shine and mattify so lightweight universal setting powder uh, so we're gonna apply the powder so i'm just gonna use a little powder puff this is just the i Heart revolution one i always use a powder puff to do my powder I think I've definitely applied a bit too much under one of my under eyes. I set my whole face with loose powder, by the way, guys. Um, especially at the minute when you're having to wear like masks. I feel like it is the best way to kind of keep your face on as much as possible. Yeah, I've just applied the powder. It looks quite nice. I'm, I'm not usually a fan of some of the Revolution powders. I feel like sometimes they... A lot of them feel quite drying, but this one, it looks a little bit drying underneath my eyes. Like, maybe the tiniest amount, but once I, like, spray my face, I'm hoping that will kind of, like, disappear. But everywhere else, it looks fine on my skin. It actually looks quite, quite nice. Um, definitely feels matte. It definitely feels quite soft. Like, it feels, makes my skin feel extremely smooth. Um, it actually looks really nice as well. I actually quite like that. I quite like it. Quite like it. That's like I said, I have got two um face palettes. So yeah. Um, I'm gonna dip into the contour palette first, which is this one. And uh, I'll swatch the three shades that we've got in here. Okay, so we've got the bronzer shade. That's quite nice. The highlighter, oh the highlighter actually might work for me. I thought it was going to be quite light. We've got a quite dark, sorry. And we have a blush which has got a bit of like a peachy reflect to it. That's quite nice. They're actually quite nice. I would say if you are of a pale complexion like myself, this palette will work for you. So we're going to try the bronzer shade. Bronzer contour shade? I don't even know what you call it. It says contour but I don't know. We'll just we're just gonna try it let's just use a little bit it's quite fair let's just use a little that shade's really nice actually again if you are like of a similar complexion to me i use the shade f1 in the foundation and um, then this will work for you as well it's nice and light it's probably you know not quite buildable feels nice it looks nice of course I did have this palette as well I don't know if I to use the blush out of this one or use the blush that I just swatched let me just get into the palette 
I'm sorry if you can hear a lot of sounds. I'm just washing a few bits. It's in the washer, so yeah. Okay, so yeah, we have these two shades. This is a nice pinky blush. Let me swatch it. Oh, that's pigmented. And the highlighter. The highlighter kind of looks similar. That's the highlighter in the the one with the blush and the highlighter palette, this one. And then this highlighter is the one from the one with the trio, the trio one. So they're kind of similar. They're quite nice though. Both, they're both, I like that shade. That shade's pretty. It's a pretty shade. I'm going to use this blush just because I feel like it will go better with the look. And I've already got a peachy blush on underneath kind of. So let's pop a little bit of this on. It's got a bit of a shimmer to it. Let's see. How it applies. It's a nice shade. It's nice because it's not too pigmented. It's almost like you can just like build it up a little bit. A little bit of my chin. It's not too glowy either, but it's definitely got a nice glow there. That's nice. I like that. I like this. I actually like it. Okay, for highlighter, of course, I'm not. I'm not going to use the one out of this one. Um, I might use this one. Or oh, we have got this one as well. This is the super highlighter. Um, this is in the shade Champagne. So that's the shade. This was like the lightest one on the website. It doesn't. Swatch is okay, it doesn't swatch too great. There we go. It's very gold, it's more like a very gold champagne shade. I might use this. We're gonna use this as like an inner corner. Not an inner corner, we're gonna use it as a brow bone highlight. So we're gonna put a little bit of this on the brow bone, let's just see what it's like. Oh, that's better. It definitely doesn't swatch well with a finger, but with a brush, like, that looks so much better. Do I try a bit of this on the face? You know, we're gonna try a little bit of this on the skin, like on the actual, the actual base. And I might top it with a little bit of this one. Let me just spritz my face. I always spritz my face before I do my highlighter. It just helps for the rest of my powder products to kind of like sink into the skin so we'll go in with this one first we'll see what it's like on the skin oh okay so it doesn't swatch great however on the skin it is amazing it is gorgeous look at that definitely more of like a champagne gold um, I would say I'm gonna take a little bit of this one um, just a smidge just to like put on the centre more on the centre of my face oh, look at that and also to top on just on top a little bit I am all about glow. I'm obsessed with glowy highlighters, like they're my jam. So, yeah. I like this. The combo is actually really nice. I really, I'd really judge this when I swear swatched it. However, it actually applies amazingly. I just wish there was another shade in this, like a bit lighter, a bit more of like a, similar to like this shade, but more like in like a single but yeah it's still gorgeous and there's so many shades in it as well i also like this highlighter as well I, I actually like all three like they're actually amazing okay okay so now we're going to move on to the brow product so of course i had i picked up the power brow um yeah this is two pound fifty bloody bargain 
Okay, so it looks like this kind of packaging, power brow. This end's got like a little spoolie on it. And then this end has got the brow pencil. Um, I picked mine up in the shade brown, I think. Just brown. Yeah, so I'm just going to brush through my brows with the spoolie. I love Revolution brow products. Tried quite a few of them out and I love them. So I'm hoping that this is also going to be one that I love. I wish I picked up the thinner one. As you can see it's quite thick but we're just gonna we're gonna give it a go we'll see what it's like i think there was also like a brow gel on the website as well if i remember rightly um but yeah i just didn't really need a brow gel i like my brows to look quite fluffy so i don't like to go make them too structured it's really nice I'm kind of like using the corners of it to like be more defined. Okay, I actually quite like this. Actually, really nice. Um, yeah, I actually really like this. It's super creamy. It's applied really nicely. I like it. Two pound fifty. I might, this might, this could be a fave, it could be a potential fave for me, I really like it. Okay, so I'm quickly just going to go ahead, I'm going to do my lips, my under eye area, I'm just going to use the same kind of shades for my under eye area, and then we're going to come back and we'll do the lip gloss shade, so yeah, I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back, just done my under eyes, done my lips, okay, so now we're going to go in with the lip gloss, I've there picked mine up in the shade Sugar, which looks like this. It is described on the website as a pink toned brown. So we're going to try this on top. They have tons of shades though, guys. This smells actually really nice. It smells like holiday. <laughs> I don't know. Almost like coconut -y. I can't describe the shade. It actually it goes so well with this lipstick like what let me swatch it on my hand for you guys I'll definitely say it is yeah so definitely a pink toned brown it's really nice swatch is really nice it's very thick it's quite not thick like it's very pigmented like very opaque um but yeah it looks really nice okay guys so this is the finished look what do you guys think let me know let me know really like it it's quite nice so let's talk about some through some of the products let's talk about the eyeshadows first um so obviously the eyeshadow palette's really nice i really like them and um, from this palette i used the yellow and then i used the cream shade it's broken it makes me so sad i think it might have broken when the foundation broke at the same time and it's just yeah i kind of like dropped it a little bit on my table and it just didn't help the situation so yeah um but i really like the yellow and the cream shade they both packed on beautifully blend out beautifully really like it from this part i use more shades um i used the deep green shade here and then i used the two big um top shades they all applied beautifully it's so nice um so creamy easy to work with the shades, I mean like this shade didn't swatch that great, however it applied beautifully on the inner corner, so yeah, it's not all about swatches, it's not all about that, really good, it's like £3, so for £3 for like six shades, it's not that bad. Okay, then what did I use? I used the primer, I do quite like this primer, I definitely feel like it has 
blurred my pores like with my foundation on top um I don't know if you guys can see but like I can barely see any of my pores showing like I feel like it's filled it in really well it's made my skin look smooth I'm gonna have to try it with other foundations as well because obviously I only used it with one foundation but I'm guessing it'll kind of be the same for all foundations but it definitely did the job definitely smoothed out my pores so yeah again this is like three or four pound crazy oh I totally forgot to mention the mascara I actually well, quite like some mascara it's really nice I did apply it to my bottom, bottom lashes I just used one coat but it is gorgeous it applied beautifully you can you can layer this up and it doesn't get like too like clumpy I would say on the third coat it would get clumpy but like one or two coats really nice it definitely added volume didn't really curl my lashes but definitely lengthen them and yeah I'm gonna have to keep trying this out because it's kind of it's kind of nice I quite like it the powder I quite like the powder I quite like it my under eyes once I like sprayed my face with a little bit of setting spray it has definitely like helped um to like set it down into the skin and my skin doesn't look as dry underneath my eyes but everywhere else my skin looks I think it looks amazing it feels so like my, after applying this if my skin felt so soft I don't know what is in this but it's really nice I'm gonna have to keep trying out though especially with like different foundations that kind of thing but so far I quite like this I quite like it it gets a thumbs up okay moving on what else did I use I'm totally forgetting brow pencil really like this super creamy £2.50 my brows look as good as what they do when I used a benefit pencil to be honest with you they look really nice nice and smooth it's nice and creamy it's easy to work with I like it it's all my only critique with this one is I'd say that it's quite not as defined um but obviously the more that you use it it kind of does end up getting a bit more tapered if that kind of makes sense and um, it doesn't look as like thick but yeah right off the bat it was quite thick but it's it's applied well and I didn't have any problems when applying it so yeah like this okay next what did I use okay let's talk about the, the face products contour the contour palette really like this this you know what the bronzer contour whatever you want to call it I used it as a bronzer it's you could use it as both probably if you wanted to I really like it it's applied into the skin beautifully and um, it wasn't too pigmented it wasn't like overpowering it was just a nice shade the blush I really like the blush again it's not too pigmented still easy to build up it's not too shimmery either there's a bit of shimmer in there but it's not too shimmery I didn't use the highlighter however when I swatched it it looked amazing and I'm gonna have to try it out definitely gets a thumbs up the blush palette the blush and well the blushed palette should I say the one with the blush and the highlighter in the highlighter I love this honestly that this kind of duo is like my kind of duo same as this one actually like I would take this traveling and be quite happy just to use this um and not need anything else but this this is gorgeous as well i like it i like the idea of it this shade is gorgeous this shade is gorgeous because i didn't use this but i'm gonna be testing it out soon but yeah, i really like them too and the notes so nice and small and compact and yeah i like them the super highlighter honestly i was surprised by this because when i swatched it it swatched awful I'm gonna be honest it's swatched awful however on the skin I don't know what they put in this but it is beautiful and I, I need more shades because I can only basically get away with this shade I really hope they come out with more lighter shades like more like a sh like a light champagne kind of shade I mean this is like a champagne but it's like a champagne gold I'd want like a straight champagne kind of shade but it is like it looks gorgeous on the skin and I can't help but keep looking at my highlighter in my viewfinder because it looks stunning it is gorgeous really like this for three pounds honestly go get it and then moving on to the last thing we've got the gloss i didn't really talk about the gloss too much and um, i like the shade the shades are really nice it's definitely more of like a thicker kind of opaque gloss rather than like a sheer kind of gloss it's definitely pigmented it, it looks nice it's a little bit sticky but not too sticky it's still really nice and 
um, hydrating on the lips, it's not too sticky. It doesn't have, the smell's nice, but it's not too overpowering either. And yeah, I really like this. I might have to get a couple of different shades in this. Um, but yeah, it looks gorgeous. I actually really like it. It's definitely giving my lips a nice glow. Um, I could have used this by itself, to be honest with you, because of how um, opaque it was. But I decided to top it on top of a lipstick because it wasn't too sharp. But I actually really like this. And yeah, it looks nice. I like it. So yeah, I really hope you enjoyed today's video, guys. I really hope this kind of helped in case you were wondering whether to get a few bits or not. Definitely pick up a few bits. Um, for me, the, the standout products for me was definitely like the face products, like these ones, the highlighter. I like the, really like this, the powder. Um, and the brow product as well. I like, the, I like the eyeshadows. I didn't feel like I needed them, but I wanted to test them out for you guys. They are nice. I'm guessing they're all going to be a similar formula. They all applied fine. They were all really nice. But for me, definitely, it is the face products that are the standout products for me. And the ones that I'll probably get the most use out of um, for, like, everyday kind of wear. Um, but, yes, actually, they're actually really nice. I, I can't wait to try to test out the foundation. If you want me to do, like, another testing video, maybe using, like, more of the colourful shades out of this palette, um... And then using like the foundation that kind of thing and then maybe using like this blush um or and that and then this like highlighter i don't know let me know let me know if you want me to do like another like second impressions kind of thing let me know i'll pick up a few more bits that kind of thing but yeah i really hope you enjoyed today's video guys if you did please remember to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel as it really helped me out uh, of course everything else that I'm wearing on my face I'll link in the description box down below and as always I'll be linking my social media handles up above and also in the description box down below in case you want to check me out there. So yeah I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!